WhatsApp is one of the most popular messaging apps available for mobile devices. If you use WhatsApp, you're going to love this video. I'm Jessica from TechBoomers.com. In this video, we're going to show you some awesome WhatsApp tricks for 2017. Note that this video will show WhatsApp running on an iPhone, but the app and most of these tricks also work on Android. Now let's get started. The first trick is a cool way to change the font of your messages. To do this, open WhatsApp and open a conversation with one of your friends. Type in the message you'd like to send. Put three Grav accents before and after your message. On iPhone, you can access this accent by pressing and holding on the apostrophe button. Once you've added the accents, you'll see your message change fonts. Another way to change up the appearance of text in your messages is to add formatting like bold, italics, or strike through. To make text bold, put asterisks on either side. To put text in italics, put an underscore on either side. If you want to cross out text with strike through, put a tilde on either side of the text. If you have multiple WhatsApp accounts for different purposes, it can get annoying having to sign in and out of your different accounts. If you want to keep both accounts signed in all the time, you can do so with an app called Parallel Space. The app itself is free, but each space you purchase will cost you $13.99. On each space, you can sign into a separate account. You only have to pay once and have access to it for as long as you want. Want to ensure you don't forget to wish someone a happy birthday or anniversary? You can schedule messages to send with WhatsApp. We have a couple different apps you can use to do this, one for iPhone and one for Android. The app we recommend for iPhone is called Scheduled. You can download it for free from the App Store. To schedule a message, open the app, then start drafting a message. Choose a contact, set a date and time, and type in what you'd like your message to say. Then tap Schedule Message. You'll be notified when it's time to send your message. When you're ready to send it, Select the message, then tap Send Using. Finally, select WhatsApp to send it off. For Android, we recommend an app called SQ Edit. This app can be downloaded for free from the Google Play Store. After installing it, open the app and select WhatsApp. Then, choose the contact you want to schedule a WhatsApp message for. Type in your message, choose a date and time you want to send it, and uncheck the box beside Send Manually to have your message send automatically. When you're done, tap Schedule. If you don't always want your friends to know when you've read their messages, you can turn off your read receipts. To do this on iPhone, open your WhatsApp app, then go to your settings. Tap Account, then select Privacy. On the next page, tap the Read Receipts switch. When the switch is white and moved to the left side, Read Receipts are disabled. To make it clear what message you're responding to in a group chat, tap and hold on the message you want to respond to, then tap Reply. Type in what you'd like to say, then tap Send. Your message will show the message you're responding to at the top, so it's obvious what you're referring to. To make sure your friends can't see your messages when you get notifications on your phone, you can disable message previews in your notifications. To do this on your iPhone, go to your WhatsApp settings, then tap Notifications. Tap the switch beside Show Preview to disable notification previews. When the switch is white, these have been disabled. You can add a unique filter to photos you send through WhatsApp if you want to. When you take a photo with WhatsApp, slide your finger upwards from the bottom of your screen to access filters. Tap a filter to add it to your photo, then swipe your finger down to hide the filters again. 
When you're ready, tap Send. To send something to multiple people, you can start a group chat or create a broadcast list. Both allow you to send one message to multiple people, but the difference is that when your friends reply to a broadcast message, their response to you will be private, while in a group chat, your friends' responses will all be visible to everyone you sent the message to. To create a broadcast list, go to your chats. Then tap Broadcast Lists. To create a group message, tap New Group. The last step is to select all the contacts you want to send a message to. To see a list of the contacts you communicate with the most through WhatsApp, open the app and go to your settings. Tap Data and Storage Usage, then select Storage Usage. On the next page, you'll see a list of the contacts you talk to the most, as well as information about the amount of data stored in your conversations. If you want to find out whether one of your friends has read your message, even in a group chat, open your conversation, find the message in question, then swipe your finger to the left. You'll see an information page appear that tells you who has read the message. To do this on Android, tap the message in question, then tap the I button to see an information page. Our very last trick allows you to unblock yourself when someone else has blocked you on WhatsApp. To do this, you'll need to delete your account. Beware that this will also delete all of your messages and any data within your conversations, like pictures and videos. Back up your conversations first if you don't want to lose all that data. To delete your account, go to your WhatsApp settings, select Account, then tap Delete My Account. Enter your phone number, then tap Delete My Account. After deleting your account, remove the app from your device. Turn your device off, then restart it again. Redownload WhatsApp and sign up again, the same way you did before. Once you complete this process, you'll be unblocked by any of your contacts that had previously blocked you. This is a cool trick, but if you get blocked again, you'll have to repeat the process to unblock yourself. That does it for this video on the coolest WhatsApp tricks for 2017. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over a hundred free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.